Hey, Playa, welcome to another live stream here on my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh. Every single week, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. And in this live stream, I'm going to be sharing five ways that you can make money as a teenager this summer. I know a lot of you guys have been curious. Well, I have all this free time throughout the summer, and I want to make some money. I want to use my time to have a little bit of cash so I can go out with my friends, so I can buy the things that I want, so I can be a little settled and I don't have to constantly rely on ask my parents or constantly having to wait for them to kind of allow me to do things. So having your own money is going to be helpful there. But before I get into that, I do want to say if you guys hear footsteps, that's my little dog, my mom's dog. I'm, I'm watching her and she's kind of walking around in the background, just going around in circles. So she's going to be making a little bit of noise. You'll probably pick it up in the mic. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, though, um, I, before I get into the five points here, I want to give shout outs to everyone in the chat. So if you're in the live stream right now and you are an active watcher, Jump in the chat right now. Say hi. I want to give shout-outs to those people. I see Hamish and Donna the Gamer are in here. Hamish and Donna the Gamer are both channel members. If you guys look down below, at the uh, underneath this video, there's a join button. If you join, you, you can become a channel member. You get a little cool badge next to your name there. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel and to kind of say, hey, Josh, I really enjoy what you do, and I really support what you do. So... Without further ado, let's let's give the introductions here. So, Meme Smash Bro, hey, what's up? Cypher says hi. Shane says hi. Sand Skeleton, Falzar Gaming, Emma Peterson, JTW Star, Shane Clark, Victorio Campos, Rich Guy, C, just C, that's it, just the letter C. Uh, Asmodeus Mogart, Sand Skeleton, I said already. Uh, Anthony, Marcus Johnson, Typhoon, Amelia XOX, uh, Jish LaFish, uh, Ashes Trash, Cameron Miz, Instant Oof. <laughs> Instant oof, that's a fun one. Uh, Talkish, uh, Phoenix, Sam Leach, uh, Low Boy T Boy, Low Boy T Boy. I can't say that five times fast. Victorio Campos, uh, how do you become a channel member? All you have to do is click the little join button down below. Uh, it'll pop up for you, and there's certain perks that come along with that that I really need to. Dono and Hamish, we got to get together, guys. We got to figure out. I'll have some video chats. We'll, we'll make those things happen. Um, but like I said, um, in this live stream, I want to kind of go over those five ways to make money. These are things that I've done over the years as well. And I know a lot of people that take advantage of these things. Now, but first, before I get into the solutions, let's talk about some of the challenges you might run into. So why would you as a teenager want to make money over the summer? It seems like a silly question, but it's important to understand the problem so you can understand the right goals that you have set in mind. Now, uh, I know some of you guys want to have cash, you want to have money just so you can do more things. Some of you, some of you want to have money so that you can get work experience. You can just get yourself out there and, and kind of learn things, you know, during the summertime. You know, the summer is a great time to really take time to work on yourself because you don't have the stress of school. You don't have to worry about tests and exams and all the drama that comes with just school in general. You can really focus on growing yourself and preparing yourself for the next school year to come back 110% as your best self. So uh, I do want to get into a quick chat poll here, guys, for you guys. Um, just give me a quick answer here in the chat. Um, what is one of the reasons why you would want to make money this summer? What is it that you would want to do with that money? Everyone has different goals with the money that they want to do. For example, one of the ways that I'd want to make money this summer is I'd, I'd one of the ways I want to make money is so that I can um, kind of just have extra cash to buy the little things that I want to do to kind of up my production value, right? There's a lot of things I want to get for live streaming here, which is like a second light here. If you guys ever noticed, there's only one sided light here, a second light. I want to move this mic to a microphone, a thing that I can attach to the table. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of little things I want to do and just doing things over the summer as I go through these five things, doing these five things is going to help me kind of not feel guilty um, buying these things or feeling like, hey, I have the money to get the things that I want. Uh, so let's see what some of you guys are saying here. Um, Slayer says, uh, I think I want to get a job. I'm just nervous. I won't be able to do it right uh, or the pressure will be too much. Any advice? That's a good point, Slayer. I'm going to get to that. So uh, <laughs> modern problems need modern solutions. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, Just Nev is doing a quick plug there. Uh, Amelia says, I hate school. Marco says, I need money. Falzar Gaming says, I want to use that money to save up to get a new phone. Yep, getting a new phone might be something you guys want to do. Slayer says, I love co collecting sneakers, so buy some of those and save for college. Those are great goals to have. Emma, uh, Emmanuel says, save up for college. Marco says, I want to invest in a business. That's smart thinking, Marco. You're on top of something there. 
Typhoon says, I want to buy stuff to keep me busy. Shane Clark says, hang out with my friends. Yeah, you want some money just to kind of hang out and do fun things. Asmodeus says, I want to save up money to buy a new scooter and a phone. Jaden says, for me, it's to buy a gaming PC. Jish LaFish says, I'm saving up for a PC. The Life of Burley says, so I can get a skateboard. Rich Guy says, I want to buy AirPods. Hamish says, fix my car. Money for that. You need money for that. Yeah, you need money to fix your car. I need money to fix my car too. So we're in that same boat, Hamish. Uh, Sansa Skeleton says, so I could save for my future. Sam Leach says, to improve my social life and be more independent. That's an awesome goal right there. Uh, Shane Clark says, hanging out with my friends. Marco says, I want to go to college and invest in a business. Emma Peterson says, I want to save money to give back to other people who need it. Emma, that is an amazing goal, an amazingly charitable thing to do. Kudos to you for, for bringing that up. Uh, JTW says, so I can open my eye clinic. That's awesome. Hunter Hansen says, many reasons. Yeah, and I think many reasons definitely covers it. I know there's more there, but I want to kind of move to the points here, guys. Um, there are lots of different reasons why you'd want to make money throughout the summer. So let's let's just slowly move through the five of them here. So the first one I'm going to bring up is a pretty much a no-brainer. This is an obvious one, but this is to get a job working at a store right? Now, some of you guys might think, okay, well, it's not that simple, but this is my strategy for finding a job locally, right? When I say get a job in a store, I mean find something that's local to you. It could be a mall in your, your city or your town. It could be uh, stores that are just locally around. Maybe there are some summer businesses that only pop up like ice cream shops or, you know, like surfboard places or things that are kind of just summer um, stores that pop up and they just kind of need workers for that thing. Uh, this could be a good way to kind of just jump in, get a shift and then work that shift and then make a little bit extra cash. So one way to kind of identify stores that would potentially be hiring for the summer is try to look at where foot traffic is going. Where are a lot of people going into during the summer, right? Look at the stores that kind of are really packed or have a lot of people in there or a lot of people are buying things from there. Listen to people and say like, oh, I got to go to the, if you ever hear someone mention a conversation, oh, I got to go to this store to buy this thing or, oh, I don't have a bathing suit. Let me go to Old Navy. Let me go to Macy's. Let me go to somewhere. Try to really pay attention to what people are saying and then those are going to be stores that chances are if there's a high demand, there's a lot of people that want things from that store. If there's a lot of people that want things from that store, then the, chances are that store is going to be looking for extra hands on deck, extra people to work there. So try to think about what's in your local area and then really try to just reach out to them and say, hey, look, uh, I'm free for the summer. I don't have school. So for the next two or three months, however long your summer is, depending on where you are in school, uh, your school break, let them know. I'm free. I have time. I have availability. I can work multiple days a week. I'm just looking to come make money. And chances are a lot of places will want to take you on because they need the summer help. So I'm going to do another quick chat poll here, guys. I want to ask you, um, where is there a store in your area? What like What's a local store that you think you can just reach out to and see if you can maybe work there for the summer? What are some stores in your area um, that you'd be you'd you'd pretty much consider thinking, hey, let me reach out to them and see if I can get a shift for the summer. So let's see what some of you guys say here. Dono says, I'm not going to be able to stay for the live stream, but I hope to make it to the after party. Awesome, Dono. Love and peace, man. Catch you later. Um, let's see. So um, Asmodeus says, Asmodeus Mogra says, I'm 12. Yep, guys. So if you're 12, so if you're someone who can't get a job working in the store, depends. there's definitely an age limit for working in a store. I think you have to be maybe like 15 or 16 or so. So if you're younger, don't worry, I got you covered as well. But I think getting a job in a store is one of the easiest, straightforward things that you can do. And it just really comes down to just putting yourself out there and trying to apply to different places. So Enrique says your mom's house. <laughs> Good one, Enrique. You, you got me there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Slayer says pet stores and restaurants. Absolutely. Restaurants especially. People are going out to eat a lot during the summer. Uh, so any any food places are definitely going to be good places to reach out to. Uh, a pet store as well, right? People want to buy, you know, they want to go outside. They want to be outdoors with their pets. They may need leashes. They may need pet food. They may need a bunch of different things. Is GameStop a choice? GameStop is definitely a choice. They're, they're a store. And if there's a GameStop for you, that might be be a fun actually if you're a gamer that might just be a good place to kind of be around something that you like uh nigel williams says walmart walmart's a great option uh life of early says the chocolate place uh, emmanuel says i'm saving up money to buy clothes and shoes and school supplies during the summer and go shopping early that way and go shopping early that way i can get good things during the summer absolutely the sooner you buy stuff the sooner you get to them before they're all sold out uh stan skeleton says i can work at a place called red apple farm that sounds like a cool place to go 
Uh, Eduardo says, I applied to Publix yesterday. Awesome, Eduardo. That's really cool, man. Hamish says, being a company driver for my local ASDA supermarket. Absolutely. Look, if you have a car, if you're someone that has a car, like be a delivery person. There's Uber, there's Lyft, there's a bunch of different services or just delivery um, or a company driver. So maybe you drive, um, I don't know, people from the company around. Uh, Emma, Peter Emma Peterson says, at the YMCA, YMCA is a great place to look for a job and to, to reach out to them and see. Um and Enrique says, I can't drive. Don't worry, Enrique. I have a few things in here, the five points I'm going to cover that, that I think can help you out. This first point really is more so for the people who can travel to the job and can are old enough that they can work in a store and, and that could be fine. Um, uh, JTW Star says, in England for a 15-year-old, not many jobs. Absolutely. If you're young, it's going to be hard to get a job in a store. They're not always looking to hire younger people because they're afraid. Younger people mess up or they show up late. There's a stigma attached to younger people just not being the best workers. And don't worry about that. If working in a store is not something that's your thing, that's totally fine. But I really think it's a good option. And I think that a lot of times you have to really tell yourself, hey, I'm not just gonna apply to one place, I'm gonna apply to multiple places. A lot of times people apply to one or two places, they don't hear back from them or they just get rejected and they think, ah, oh, there's nowhere to hire. But put yourself out there, go to five, 10, 15 places. Like literally, if you're in a mall, you can go to every single store in that mall and apply and see who, who's willing to take you on for the summer. There's always an opportunity, it just really is a matter of seeking it out. And a lot of times people aren't going to post that they're looking for workers or they need extra help, you know, out there for people to see. They're not going to put it on like job websites. A lot of times it's word of mouth. So you can always try asking someone that, you know, hey, do you know any places that are hiring for the summer? Uh, do you know anywhere that I can work? And chances are someone may have something that they can pass along to you. DEG says, how about performing at a strip club? Uh, look, that's an option, right? Performing at a strip club is something you may want to do if you're of age and that's something you're interested in. Jish LaFish says, I'm working for a small tax place. That's awesome. Yeah. Look, guys, you know, you can always work for a company and, and organize their files or help them manage email or, or help make deliveries. There's a lot of little things that you can potentially do that uh, may not be obvious jobs, right? And like I said, if, if you're in the job, if you're looking for a job so that you can make a little bit more money so that you can kind of have, have a little bit more extra cash, really just Ask, ask people like, what is it that I can do? What do you need extra help with? Or what can you offload that I can take care of? Um, so yeah, so Shane Clark says, sorry, can't stay for the stream. So I've been watching for years, help middle school. No problem, Shane. Thanks for jumping in. I appreciate having you here, man. Uh, Steph says, in my country, you can't work before 16. Yeah, look, so like I said, some of you guys can't get legit jobs working in stores if you're under 16, and that's fine. There's still options there for you, uh, and I think that you guys, you know, take those opportunities. So um, I want to do another chat poll here. For those of you that do have jobs or have worked somewhere before, where is the place that you've worked? Share it in the chat here because I know there's a lot of people here that are thinking like, where can I apply or what can I do? Um, and if you have experience, then put it out there, right? I remember for me, um, one thing I did, it was more an internship than a job, but I remember I worked in a lab and this was for school. I had to, for, for my physics, physics class, I had to get an internship at, uh, you know, and just do some kind of internship. So I remember reaching out to different, um, you know, like, uh, this, this hospital, this facility, this medical center, all these different places and just putting myself out there until one of them is like, yeah, you know, I need an intern for the summer. And they brought me on and I was able to work there, but I only got there because I put myself out there and I really sought out the opportunity. So, um, let's see. Uh, uh, hey, uh, who, who's, who's Ifa says McDonald's, uh, McDonald's is a place you could work. Definitely. George, George Cruz. I volunteered at my local library. Dario says I used to work at beacon group for disabled people, but I quit like almost 10 years ago because of their abusive boss and supervisors. Sorry to hear, hear that Dario. Not every boss is a good boss. Sometimes some people just are not nice people <laughs> is party city a food option party city i don't think is a party city is more of a party store right so they sell party supplies and things like that um small noob says i worked at max a fast food joint in sweden when i was 15 i resigned because i hate getting greasy by the oil now i can't find a new job i hear you on that you know look working in a fast food place is an option but it's not always the most glamorous there's sometimes a lot of customers it's going to be a pretty stressful environment uh, Emma Peterson says, I'm volunteering at CVS, YMCA, and Mount Prospect School. That's awesome, Emma. Wow, you're putting yourself out there. You're doing a lot. 
Nigel Williams says, South Star Services. Uh, Asmodeus says, when I turn 14, I can work at my local McDonald's. Awesome, man. Phoenix says, I work at Target. It's great. I get $12 an hour starting off at part-time. That's really cool, man. That's really awesome to hear. Steph says, worked at Chinese restaurant, Strawberry Farm. Oh, cool. Those are places you worked. Awesome. Um, Small Noob says, what were those tips on earning money during the summer? Yep. So these are the tips. This is how you can seek out ways to make money. So that first one that I talked about here was applying for a job somewhere, putting yourself out there, reaching out to people that you know, um, just applying anywhere you can to see if you can get work. Let's move on to the second one here. Now, the second way that you can make money during the summer as a teen is, and this is something I've been doing a lot of, sell stuff that you have lying around the house. Places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace are great opportunities to bring in extra cash. Guys, like literally hear me out on this. I've been listing tons and tons of old toys and comic books and just things that I've had over the years that it's like, ah, I'm not doing anything with them. Let me just sell them online. I've been putting stuff on eBay and people buy them, right? And I think I've, I think in the last 60 days, because eBay gives you a total uh, 60 days, I think it's been in like four or $500 worth of stuff that have sold right? Those are things that it's like they were just sitting around in my house. And I know for you guys, I know you have tons of things just lying around, whether they're old toys or old books or even old clothes uh, or just things that your parents may have that they're just not using that are just sitting there collecting dust. Talk to your parents first because depending on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or one of the places you're going to go on, these places you do need to be 18 or older to sell on. Um, but if you work with your parents and you let your parents know, hey, I'm going to list all these things. I'm going to take the pictures. I'm going to put them up online. I'm going to help mail them out. I'm going to do all the work, but you just set up the account and you help manage it. Then you can work with your parent to have an eBay account and sell things online. Like you guys won't even believe how much money you can make just by selling tiny little things, right? If you have a bin full of toys, like that could be easily like a thousand dollars right there sitting in front of you. And a lot of people overlook this little tip because it requires a little bit of work, right? Like you got to sit there, you got to take pictures of everything, you got to list it, you got to mail it. It's a, it's a whole lot of work, but there's a huge, huge reward there. And it's for things that, you know, you're, you're not creating a thing, They're, they already exist. So I want to hear what some of you guys are saying in the chat here. Um, let's see, Hamish says, I used to work in Iron Mon uh, Mongery, love that job, cool, cool. Sam, Sam Leach says, I work in a kid's le leisure center, I don't particularly like it, but it's okay for a first job. Yeah, definitely, anything to get um, some some kind of exposure and, and and just knowledge in the work field is great. DDR Shane says, I see, I, I see your items being sold on Marketplace all the time, Josh. Yeah, look, I sell things all the time on Facebook Marketplace. Lots of people buy stuff, right? I remember I sold a bunch of Dragon Ball Z toys just the other day. Like I, I took pictures of them. I listed it and literally like five minutes later, something it's like, I want to buy this. And it was like the, just a bunch of little Dragon Ball Z toys. And it was like $20, $30. I forgot how much it was. But like, boom, right there, $20 in my pocket. And it's like, I guarantee you guys have stuff that you can put up online. Uh, it's just a matter of seeking it out. So here's going to be the fun challenge. I'm going to jump in and ask you guys in a second. I want to hear what some of you are saying here. Small, small noob. Hold on. My dog is howling. Yeah, look here. She keeps howling. Okay. Small Noob says, oh, thank God for reminding me I got to do this. I have so much crap just laying around. Absolutely, guys. This is stuff that's just lying around. So when you think about how can I get a little bit of extra cash, just take the work. Like if you took 20 minutes every day just to take pictures of a bunch of things and list them, it's like it's so easy to just do it, especially from your phone. When I do eBay through my phone, it's just picture. I just find the item that someone else is selling. I find the right price and then I list it. Boom. Like easy easy setup easy easy launch she keeps howling <laughs> hold on guys okay try not to knock my light over okay so uh what kind of dog is it it's a it's a miniature doberman pincher chihuahua uh, she's sure. Um, okay. So what's her name? Her name is JLo. My mom named her after JLo the singer. Uh, so Darius says, I sell my cowboy boots that never fit me. Absolutely. 
If you have extra things like boots or clothes, those are great things to sell online because people will buy them. Uh, as Modius says, I have a bunch of Pokemon cards that I don't want anymore. Yep, dude, Pokemon cards sell. Just go on eBay and see, see what the average sale price is and just put them up. Someone asked, uh, how do I sell on Facebook? How do I sell on Facebook? Uh, I read that somewhere. How do you sell stuff on Facebook? So Facebook has an option, which is Facebook marketplace. It's like a little in the navigation there. There's like a, one of the icons is a marketplace and people are selling things in your area. You can list things there. It's a great way to kind of, you know, just make a little bit extra cash. So this is going to be a fun one guys. Uh, we'll do a chat poll here. What's something that you have in your house that just lying around that you can probably sell online that you can look at and you go, I don't need that anymore. I should just put it up and sell it. What's something that you have lying around your house? I know for me, a lot of it is I have tons and tons of action figures, right? I have a whole box of like wrestling action figures that I'm not going to, I don't really care about them anymore. So I'm just going to sell them. And I can tell you, they're probably going to sell. They're going to sell quickly and people will buy them. Uh, let's see what some of you guys are saying here. Uh, Steph says, I'm going to watch on my iPad. No chat there. So see you later on DC after stream. All right, cool. Steph, catch you later. Um, so what are some of the things you guys have? Yep, Dario says DVDs. Like, I'm sure you guys have tons and tons of DVDs and VHS tapes and a bunch of things that you can just sell online. They're just easy, easy. Come here. Okay. I'm going to try to uh, pet her as I do the live stream so that she doesn't howl as much. Okay, so... Let's see what you, oh, you guys are saying a lot of things. Just keep them coming, keep them coming. Put those ideas out there. Uh, Violet says, my shoes, I have so many. Uh, Snitch says, my Xbox. Yeah, guys, look, if you have older video game systems, people buy older video game systems all the time. Uh, George George Cruz says, old school bla Beyblades. Yeah, dude, there are probably huge Beyblade fans out there that will be willing to buy some of your old Bey Beyblade stuff. I keep messing up the word. Uh, DDR Shane says, I have like five webcams, which I don't use, which I should sell. Absolutely, old webcams, old technology, people buy that stuff. Drew says, textbooks. Yeah, dude, textbooks. People buy old textbooks and stuff. Just look up the the, the edition that you have and then see, see uh, what you could sell it for. Um, Sam says, my only issue is that I get sentimental at the last issue. I start thinking about everything I could do with my things, even if I do nothing, and it puts me off selling selling them. Sam, I totally get where you're coming from there. Uh, I think that I think that you have a really good point there. There is a nostalgia and a, and a sentimental value to a lot of the things that you have. My philosophy is always this. It's that what I've learned over the years is, like I said, I'm selling a lot of my old toys, and there's a lot of memories and history and, and feelings attached to them. But this is how I've kind of approached it. Um, there's, let's say I have like 20 action figures or 20 things I wanna sell. I will take maybe one or two that I really, really like, that I really, really think are cool. I'll take a picture of all of them. And then I've noticed that once I sell it and it's out of my house, I'm satisfied, completely satisfied satisfied with just having a picture of it. You'd be surprised at how many, how many things you can kind of, be okay with getting rid of just by taking a picture of it or having the picture to remember it and then letting it go. So I know it's a tr tough thing to do. It's it's a little, you know, it's hard to let go of things, but trust me, I've been there before and that's my philosophy, my strategy for, for getting around it. Right, I'm going to speed read through what you guys are saying here. Uh, Pl Placid says, I have some rare Pokemon cards. Potterhead says, old cameras and old books. Ryan Raison says, my Wii. Phoenix says, I have Mercedes hood ornament I found on the side of the road. That's awesome, Phoenix. Um, Potterhead says, again, I have old clothes my siblings outgrew. Yeah, clothes is a great thing that you could sell. Uh, Placid says, did you get the, to the parts for like 12-year-olds? So yeah, so Placid, this is something that you can do too. Work with one of your parents here and just old things that you sell. You're 12 years old, so you probably have toys and things like that that you don't care about from when you were 10 years old or 8 years old or 9 years old. Maybe you have some old books that you had that you don't really need anymore. They're, they're, you read them when you were younger. You're not going to read them now. Those are things that you can talk to your parents and see if you can set them up on eBay. Let your parents know, hey, I'm going to take pictures of them. I'm going to find them online, and I'm going to tell you, and then have your parents set it up for you. So there's a lot of ideas. You guys are just tossing them in here. Hamish says, my acoustic guitar. Now I have an electric guitar. Yeah, Hamish, if you have an old guitar you're not using, just kind of let it go. Uh, Violet says, what points have you said so far? Violet, I've talked about one. The first point is to reach out and see if you can um, get a job, get a job working somewhere locally. Maybe there's a store that's hiring around you. 
to sell stuff online, sell stuff on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Just take old things that you don't really use anymore, don't really care, and they're just sitting around collecting dust and list them online. Hamish, thank you so much. Oh, message retracted, but Hamish, thank you so much for the two pound uh, super chat. I really appreciate it, man. Keep you know, keep up the good work. I know you, you really work towards being your best self, man. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Emma Peterson says, Josh, I'm moving and downsizing. I need help. Yeah, look, if you're moving, guys, that's a perfect opportunity to kind of start selling things off. Just put them out there, put them online. It kind of gives you kind of the the you know the 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 push you need to really, really kind of come here. The push you need to really, really kind of get those things sold. Okay, so let's move on to the third point here because we're already at 5.30. I got to get through these points, guys. So selling things online is a great thing to do, something I do all the time. And look, the summer is the perfect time to do it because you have the free time. So just go into your garage, go into your closets, take out those old things, start listing them online. Third way to make money during the summer as a team is to help your neighbors out with chores. This is another one that might seem straightforward and simple, but this is my strategy on how to approach that as well. Now, what are people doing throughout the summer, right? They're throwing away old things. Like I, I'm telling you guys to list it online, but the majority of people don't have time for it. They don't care about that. They're just putting it on the curb. They're cleaning out their garages. They're just getting rid of stuff. And that's an opportunity. People have all this extra work that they want to do in their houses and they just don't have the time or energy or amount of people to do it. So summertime, people want to have their grass looking nice. Summertime, people want to get rid of stuff in their garage or they want their car clean so they can take it out. There's a Come here. She keeps, she keeps uh, howling, guys. Um, I think I have to feed her. That's why. Um, so... So people have all this extra work that they want to do and they don't have all the hands to do it. So if you guys talk to your neighbors or, you know, like Placid says, I live in the middle of nowhere. So Placid, this specific strategy maybe isn't the right one for you, but maybe the one, that, like I said, mailing things out and going on eBay is the best thing to do. Uh, Slayer says, I, I wish I bought physical copies, more digital copies. I haven't been able to sell even when I'm done with them. Hold on, hold on, guys. She keeps howling. What I'm going to do is put her on my lap so that she doesn't uh, howl. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient here. I got these fun tips I want to share. So. Oh no, you can. Oh no. Okay, there we go. There. All right. Now she's on my lap, guys. <laughs> so, like I said, um, reach out to your neighbors and see if there's an opportunity. <laughs> she hit her hand, her paw on the thing. Uh, reach out to your neighbors, see if there's an opportunity for you guys to kind of uh, talk to them. And and like I said. A lot of times people may not know that they have housework that they want done that you can reach out and offer to help them with. If you tell your neighbor, hey, look, um, uh, you know, I'm able to cut your grass uh, twice a week and stuff, they might say, yeah, you know what? Uh, you know, I, that's something I want to get done. I don't have the time for it. And they may just hire you to do it. Or another thing is that parents might want to go out and they may, may want to they may need someone to babysit. So that might be an opportunity for you to say, hey, look, um, I'd be willing to babysit your kid so you guys can go out and enjoy the summer and do whatever you want to do. A lot of times there's opportunities there that people don't realize. It's up to you to create them, to find them that are there. So I want to do a chat poll here and ask you guys, um, what's one task that you think you can help your neighbors with? What's something that in your neighborhood you notice is something that you can easily do? Maybe for you it's babysitting. Maybe it's helping mow the lawn. Maybe it's collecting leaves. Or maybe it's doing something like helping someone with the paint or helping someone wash their car or some kind of activity that the person probably want, would want to get done, but you can kind of be the labor to do that. What's something that you guys can imagine yourself doing? I know for me, it's like if I had someone to come help me, if I had someone to come help me, hi, right, Jayla, you want to be on the stream? All right, guys, there she is. <laughs> uh, 
Um, just relax, relax. She's going crazy. Okay. Um, she, if you had, like, for me, if I had someone to come help me do all, like, organize stuff in my basement and just kind of li list stuff, stuff, you know, put stuff out of my garage, just kind of clean it up. I would pay to do that. I would pay someone if it was a local person uh, to just kind of help me take care of that. So there's a lot of things that you guys can do that you can reach out to people and kind of help take care of. Hamish says, love the posters behind you. Thank you, Hamish. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you like them. Uh, Placid says, my parents keep the money when they sell my stuff. Well, that's not cool. Well, talk to your parents, see if you guys can work out a deal where you're going to list it and then you guys can kind of maybe split the money in some ways. Sam Leach says, I love helping others, but I feel bad asking for money in return. Yeah, Sam, I totally get where you're coming from there. There's a weird weirdness sometimes in like, hey, I'll do this and you can pay me. But what you may want to do is let them know the reason why you're doing the job in the first place. So you may want to say to that person, hey, look, I'm trying to save up money. I'm trying to save up some money so I can buy a new pair of shoes so I can have money for college. Would it be okay if I helped you with this thing? You know, phrase it like that because if the person sees that, hey, you're trying to save up money to do something, they're going to be more willing to work with you, more willing to pay you, right? It's not a weird thing where you're like, hey, can I help you with this? By the way, you should give me some money. Let them know what your goal is beforehand because they'd be, they'll be more willing to kind of help you out with that. Uh, Nigel says, cut the grass. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. If you can help your neighbors cut the grass, that's an awesome thing to do. Just Neff says, I'd be willing to pay people to come pull weeds in my backyard. Guys, so many people don't want to pull weeds. It's such a simple thing, but it's like, it's such a tedious process. So if you can help someone out with that, that's a perfect thing to do. Dario says, no offense, but the neighbor's house smells like cigarettes, which I'm not really used to. No problem. You might want to go to another neighbor. <laughs> um, Typhoon says, my neighbor is an elderly woman, so she can't really pull the weeds out of the patio. Typhoon, that is a perfect opportunity. Like, I can guarantee that she would be so grateful for the fact that you're willing to help her. And I'm sure that she would help pay you, um, help you reach your goals and whatever you're trying to accomplish for the summer. Uh, Phoenix says, I play three on three basketball with my neighbors and we bet on the games. It's great. Yeah, look, that's another thing you could do. Have little bets with friends. That's a, that's, that's a fun thing to do. Uh, Ashes Trash says, I would be happy to cut grass. Cutting grass is a great thing. Slayer says, older people will always or mostly be open to pay you for the chores. Absolutely. Slayer, you are on the money there. Older people, you know, like they don't want to bend over and get sweaty and hurt themselves doing stuff. You guys are young. You have the ability to lift a few bags, to cut a few weeds, to kind of do the manual work and stuff. Use that youthful energy to kind of help people out. So that's something you can definitely take advantage of there. It's something that um, I would take advantage of if someone were to help me with that. Kenny says, where is this fantastic app called Offer Up? Um, where is this fantastic app called OfferUp where you buy and sell lots of things? Yeah, look, OfferUp is an app as well as eBay. There's a bunch of them like um, LetGo is another one. These are all apps that are really great for listing stuff online and selling them. Uh, Sam Leach says gardening again. Kenny York says what, what you can do is collect free stuff and just resell it for money. Absolutely, right? Uh, so on to Kenny's point there when we're talking about selling stuff online, guys. You might want to go to garage sales and stuff. If you guys watch Gary V, this is what Gary V does in his serious trash talk, right? He goes to garage sales, goes to flea market type of things. He just buys stuff and then resells them online. That could be an opportunity for you too. Uh, Slayer says, bet on a sporting event and then rig it like the 1920 World Series. I don't know what your odds are going to be in doing that, but Placid says, I'm an introvert and I'm scared of talking to people. No problem, Placid. Then you may want to stick to doing things online. That might be an easier option for you. But for those of you guys that feel comfortable just talking to your neighbors and asking, hey, look, is there anything I can do? I'm saving up money for new sneakers. I'm saving up money for whatever it is. They may be willing to help you out with that. So uh, I really love the suggestions you guys gave. I'm going to move on to the fourth point here um, because I think this is going to be a fun one, an interesting one to get your feedback on. But this is something that you can do if you want to make money during the summer as a teen is to offer to help people online with the service. Now, for those of you guys that are saying, I don't feel comfortable talking to people. I don't feel comfortable talking to my neighbors. I don't like my neighbors. If you're in that boat, you can always offer up some kind of skill online. So there's a website called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, and Fiverr is a great way to kind of list the service that you can do for someone, uh, and they just pay you five bucks for it. So here's an example of that, right? Let's say you're someone that um, you, you're someone that loves um, doing graphics, right? You love using Photoshop, or you love making videos, or you just love doing graphical things. You may want to offer your services up on Fiverr and say, hey guys, for five bucks, I'll create a logo for you. For five bucks, I'll create a YouTube channel art. For five bucks, I will, 
I'll make you um, um, a, a poster or I'll make you a banner that you can use or something that you can kind of use for your business or for your own personal use. There's so many opportunities, things that you can kind of create things for people and just be creative there. So Fiverr is something that I've used in the past and it's a service that I, you know, I've also, I've used it on both sides. I've used it to buy stuff and I've used it to kind of sell a service in a way where I help people out. Oh, she's going crazy. Here she goes, guys. <laughs> um, so that's something that you could definitely look more into guys services like Fiverr services out there that can really help you um, find opportunities where you can kind of list your skills online and just help people out a lot of times people may, may need help with basic things like um, let me put it down uh, there we go there's fur everywhere <laughs> People may need help with basic things like um, organizing uh, a website or kind of managing data online or something that's a simple task that you can just do on the computer. Sometimes it's, um, hey, help um, organize my email or help me come up with a, a fun jingle or a song or something like that. You know, there's lots of different services where you don't have to kind of interact with people in a you know, person to person level. And you can just do basic things like, Hey, you know what? I am really good at coming up with songs. Let me come up with the song for you, or let me do a rap intro for your YouTube channel, right? This is something I would turn to Fiverr for. If someone, if I were to go on Fiverr and say, Hey, look, I'm looking for someone to come up with the new Josh speaks theme song. Boom. Fiverr is a great place to do it. So if you have some kind of skill that you want to put out there and help people with, Using websites online like that are going to be a good way to go about it. Now, each of them you have to look to see what the age range is. Some of them you have to be you can't you have to be a certain age. You can't be too young. Stuff like that. But once again, anything you do online or any type of way you make money online, always talk to your parents. Work with your parents. See what the process is like. See if they can help you through it. So I want to do a chat poll here and ask you guys very straightforward. What's one skill, something that you really enjoy doing that you think you can offer as a service to help someone with? All right, what's one thing that you feel like, you know what, I'm really good at this, or I really like doing this, or I could probably do this well that I can help someone else with online. Share it in the chat here, guys. I'm going to read through what some of you guys are saying. Uh, Drew says, wow, I'm, I'm almost 20. Nice to know I'm not the oldest in the chat. Yeah, Drew, uh, there's lots of people in here that are a bunch of different ages. Um, most of them are younger, but there are some older people as well. Uh, Kenny says, it's on the phone. Darius says, Drew, I'm the oldest one in the slash stream, which I happen to be 30. Uh, Zhu Chan says, Hey Josh, I'm late. No problem. Good to see you in here. Nigel says, Cute dog. She is a very cute dog. Kenny York says, App Store. It's me, Gorillamon. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up, Gorillamon? Cheyenne Hall says, I think you should get TikTok. It's a music app that you make videos on. Yeah, TikTok is also something I've I, I never tried it out, but I know a lot about it. Uh, Hamish says, Josh, I'm wearing one of your t shirts I got recently. Everything is small steps. I love it because it's comfortable, motivating. Awesome, Hamish. Hey, thank you so much for buying uh, my merch, man. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for being such a, you know, a loyal fan and, and just really being so involved in the community. Come here, Jay. I think she's howling cause she's hungry after this. I got to go make her dinner. Um, so I want to see what some of you guys are saying. Uh, zoo chances, computer skills, Photoshop. Yeah. If you can Photoshop things for people, make banners, uh, touch up photos. Those are little services people will be willing to pay for. Um, Phoenix says no one should do the rap intro ever. You're gonna get clowned. Well, I don't, I'm just using that as an example, man. <laughs> Not saying, all right, give me a rap intro. Josh speaks. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see what else you guys are saying in here. Uh, Sierra says graphic design. Yeah, Sierra, graphic design is a great thing you could do. Um, Placid says I'm good at music and gaming. Yep. Yeah, so try to think about how you can use that uh, your skill for music and your love for gaming as a way to kind of really, just really you know, help someone out there. Brian Torres says, how can I get $400 this summer? Brian, you got to check out all the different tips I'm sharing in here. Cause I think they could be super helpful. Um, Atlanta boy says, help someone with web instruction. Absolutely. This is another thing too, guys. If you know how to make websites or you know how to do pretty much anything on the computer, you can just go on some, something like Fiverr and say, Hey, look, for five bucks, I'll teach you how to organize your website on WordPress. I'll teach you how to set up a website. I'll teach you how to use GoDaddy. You can help people do these basic tasks because sometimes people just want to pay someone to help them get through something easily. Uh, Atlanta Boy says, like, coding for websites, basically. Yeah, coding is a great thing to do. Um, uh, nobody Likes Me says, how about photography? Photography is another awesome thing you can try out. 
Uh, you can take pictures of someone. Um, you might want to say, hey, look, send me your pictures and I'll touch them up or I'll teach you how to take better photos. That, that's something you might want to think about too as well. Uh, Thulani says, solve a problem like making a thing that will help everyone and, and help everyone and in any time, anywhere. Yep, that's another. Thulani, you're one step ahead of the game. I'm going to get to that in a second here. Um, Placid says, is there a website where you can get money for, for gaming tips? Um, it depends, Placid. So you might, 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 you might want to go on Fiverr and try something out there and say, hey, look, I can help you be better or get better at a specific game. I could teach you how to do better at Call of Duty. I could teach you how to win at Fortnite. Here are my strategies for winning. Here's how I do it. Sometimes people will pay for those skills just because they want to know what's going on. JTW Star is 84 years old. I think that's the oldest person if he actually is 84. <laughs> um, Hamish says graphics. Graphics is a great thing to do. Yeah, Hamish, if you're good at graphics, that's where you should start, man. Um, Let's see. Slayer says, if you become a big YouTuber by posting gaming tips, you can make a lot of money, but it's a long-term thing. Yeah, definitely. Where is she? Jayla. <laughs> Hold on, guys. What's in that? What's in that? Okay. Back on task. Back on task, guys. I think she's going to keep howling for the rest of the live stream. I can't. Stop it. Um, Drew says, Josh, when will you be making the politics related videos? Probably sometime around the debates, I think. I think I'll keep it to around there, the Democratic debates that are coming up. Um, but all right, let's get on to the fifth point here, guys. So selling a service or a skill that you have, finding a way to kind of help someone online is a good way to, to kind of make a little bit extra cash and just kind of be more creative in the process. But let's talk about the ultimate creative thing that you can do here, guys. The fifth way that you can make money during the summer as a teen is to create something that people can buy that adds value to their life. This, I think, is the best thing that you can do, and here's why. Let me tell you guys a story about a kid named Shervin A. Azar. Shervin's someone that I did a video with. I'll link it up over here when the live stream's over. Uh, I did a video interview with him. He's 15 now, I believe, 15 years old. The kid wrote a book, wrote a book about his story. He was from a, uh, another country, came to America, wrote a book about his story and his journey and his travel, what his experience was like, uh, you know, like learning the language and just kind of growing and, and, and becoming the person he is today. He wrote the book. He put it online. He sell, sells it on Amazon and he speaks in schools. He, he does tours. He, he was on um, the Canadian version of Shark Tank, like the kid really put himself out there because he wrote a book. He created something of value that people wanted. People who are from his country, people that are have similar experiences with him will read his book, will buy his book, will say, hey, look, this is something I can relate to. So guys, I think that is probably the best thing you can do. Summer is a long time. You're out of school. You have free time. I think summer is the perfect time to sit down and say, I want to create something. I'm going to use the free time I have to create something that I can sell, something I own, something that belongs to me, that I can sell online that people will buy. For Shervin, it was writing a book. I wrote my book, Embracing the Awkward. That's something that belongs to me, right? So I tell people, hey, guys, I have a book called Embracing the Awkward. I don't have it around me right now. It's in the other room, but I have a book called Embracing the Awkward. Um, and I put it out there. I promote it. People buy it and stuff, and I make money off that. It's something that you can do that helps you kind of, um, you know, like just make a little bit extra cash because you own the product. Yet, yeah, Just Neff says Etsy shops, guys. Open up an Etsy shop. If you like creating buttons, if you like creating T-shirts, if you like creating little knicky knacks, or look, these posters, these, these that I have on my wall right now, I got this off Etsy. Some graphic designer who likes Mr. Rogers created these. And I'm like, oh, those are cool. I want those on my wall. And I bought them. He made money simply because I found his design really intriguing, something he created, and I bought it. So that's something you guys might want to think about doing. Um, you know, like, and I want to do another chat poll here because I want to get what you guys are saying. Uh, yeah, I think she's hungry. I'm going to go down and feed her now. Um, I'm going to do a chat poll here for you guys. What is something that you feel you can create that you think you can put out there for people to buy? Um, doesn't mean you know how to do it right now or you have all the things you need, but something you want to. For some of you guys, it might be writing a book. For some of you guys, it might be coming up with a song and then selling that song online. For some of you guys, it might be um, creating a video series and then making money off ads. What's something that you want to create or you can see yourself creating that you can sell online? I'd love to know what you guys have to say. I want to hear, hear you sound off in the chat. 
Um, for me, it was writing a book. One of the things I want to also do is I'm going to create an online course. So this is something I want to tell you guys about because I'm gearing up to make this happen. But for the summertime, I'm going to create a course. It's going to be a 30-day course that you guys can kind of take and you can walk through that is, that's really going to help you feel prepared for the summer. Feel like, hey, when you start school again, you're going to be ready, you're going to be open, and you're going to kind of have your mind focused on what you want to accomplish. So let's see what some of you guys have to say. More details on that coming soon, but let's see what some of you guys have to say. What's something that you feel you can put together and you can sell for people to buy? Um, Drew Orr says a book. Uh, Eduardo says, I can customize shoes. That's an awesome thing, Eduardo. Uh, DDR Shane says, I think I can create figures out of clay. Okay, give me a minute. Um, uh, Ashes Trash says, a hobby shop would be cool. Yeah, a hobby shop would be awesome. Hamish says, maybe write a book. I'm not sure there's lots of things on my mind. Yeah, look, guys, uh, if, you, if you wanna write a book, like think about your life story. Think about what you've experienced. And like, if you can craft a really great story from it, go for it, put it out there. People might be interested in hearing your story. Um, Butterwolf says, I'm a senior now in high school and I got a little, I got a little, uh, got as a photographer, it made me some good cash. Oh, you got a little gig. So yeah, working a little gig as a photographer. That's an easy thing to do. Gabriel says here in Brazil, the summer vacation is December and January and July. We just have two week breaks. All right. So Gabriel, so your timeline is a little changed than the, than the, probably the Western system or so, but a uh, JTW star says, well, it looks like England is not going to have a summer. We have, we've had floods. Sorry to hear that, man. Uh, Cheyenne Hall says a song that has deep meaning. I know <laughs> the dog does sound like a lost ghost. Uh, I'm going to, I got to go feed her. I'm going to, I'm going to probably end this live stream in a, in a few minutes here, guys. But I do want to say that. So uh, Asmodeus says, I can't create or sell anything. That's where you're totally wrong, Asmodeus. Like I said, you have things already that you can sell, action figures, books, t-shirts. And if it's a matter of creating something, look, maybe you can create, um, wall art, right? Like this is wall art. You can create wall art that you can sell online. You just, I think, I think the key guys really is to start thinking about, um, what is it that you can put together? What are the skills that you have, the things that you like to do and how can you turn that into something that people will buy? To me, that's the best thing you can do throughout this throughout the summer because you have the free time. You have the ability to kind of really dedicate yourself and focus your mind on what you want to accomplish. Um, so, before I get through, I'm going to walk through the five steps again. I'm going to review them, guys. I do want to say this, that after this live stream, I'm going to go feed my dog, but then I'm definitely jumping over on Instagram for the Instagram after party. So what's the Instagram after party? Well, here's here's it in a nutshell. The Instagram after party is, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, the Instagram after party is over on my Instagram page. All you got to do is follow me over there. And basically what I do is I invite you guys on. I video chat. It's really cool. Very laid back. The after party is where all the cool kids are. So you definitely are, are going to want to join it. Just follow me over on Instagram.com slash the Josh Speaks to get there. Guys, hopefully I can see you over there. Let's walk through the five points again and just kind of bring this home. Okay. The five ways to make money during the summer as a teen. The first one, get a job working in a store. This I think is probably the most straightforward one. Look around, see what's available in your town, in your neighborhood, reach out to different stores and malls, talk to people, see if you can find places that are hiring, watch where foot traffic is going. If you see a lot of people are going into a certain store, an ice cream shop for the summer, that might be where you want to apply. Number two, sell stuff that you have lying around the house. Guys, we all have tons of clothing and books and DVDs and toys and all these things just sitting around collecting dust. Put them online. There are people who would be willing to buy them. And it's really easy to just go on eBay and list stuff up. So look, that's an easy way to make a lot of quick cash because you already have the stuff that you want there. Number three, help your neighbors with chores. This is something a lot of people tend to overlook as well, but chances are your neighbors don't want to do the dirty work. They don't want to mow the lawn. They don't want to pull the weeds. They don't want to clean the car. So if you can offer to help them with these little tasks, that might be something they'll say, hey, look, sure, you want to help me with that? I'll pay you for it. Let them know what your goal is. Say, hey, look, I'm trying to save up money to do this. Can you, if I help you guys uh, wash the car, can you, can you throw some money my way or can you pay me? And chances are most people will be willing to help you out with that because they want to be helpful in some ways. Number four, 
uh, offer to help people online with the service. So like I said, if there are small tasks that you can do for people, I can design a graphic uh, for you. I can read through your, um, I can read through your essay or read through your book. This is something I, I, I ordered on Fiverr too. I was working on a book before and I wrote it and I needed someone to edit it. So I hired someone on Fiverr to kind of read through and make corrections, fix the grammar and all that stuff. So it's an easy thing to do. And number five, guys, create something that people can buy that adds value. Whether it's creating your own merch, creating a book, um, creating uh, something you can sell on eBay, arts and crafts and stuff. My friend, what she does is she has an Etsy store and she she buys Halloween masks. She'll buy like a Michael Myers mask and then she'll paint it and she'll make it look a lot more. You know, like the, the store masks never look good. So she paints it. It makes it look super, super realistic and people buy it for a lot of money online because people want really good replicas. So for her, that's a really way to make easy money online, to just cr use her craft and skill and create something that adds value. So like I said, guys, those are the five things I think that as, as a teen you can do throughout the summer to make extra cash. I'm curious to know, I want to do another chat poll here before I wrap it up, guys. Which of those five things do you think that you can actually start doing? Now that we're heading into summer, what's something that you can actually do? I'm going to quickly run through it. Let me know in the chat right now what you think you could do. One, get a job working in a store. Two, sell stuff you have lying around the house. Three, help a neighbor with chores. Four, offer to help people online with a service through a website like Fiverr. Or five, create a product, write a book, cre create something that people can buy that adds value. Which of those five things can you imagine yourself doing this summer to make a little bit more money? Instagram is broken. Oh no, I hope it's not broken. Um, I want to see what you guys are saying. Uh, as Modia says, I can sell old stuff. Hamey says one, two, three, and five. That means getting a job, uh, working in a store, selling stuff lying around the house, hel uh, help your neighbors with chores, and then create something that people can, uh, th that people can buy. Yeah, totally. As Modia says, number two, number two is sell stuff you have lying around the house. Awesome Gaming says three. Three is help your neighbors with chores. Uh, Gabriel says you can also create a YouTube channel. Absolutely. Creating a YouTube channel is something you will work on this summer. Uh, Typhoon says, make something to sell or provide a service. Yep, definitely. It's okay, Jill. I'm just you. Uh, make something to sell us, uh, buy, uh, totally. Make something to sell or provide a service. Yep, totally. Phoenix says, already got a job. I'm sorted. Sort yourself out, bucko. <laughs> Nigel Williams says number five. Number five is to create something people can buy. Awesome Gaming says number three. Three is to help your neighbors with chores. Um, Sergio says number one. Number one is to get a job working in a store. Darius says there's a yard sale. Uh, Emma Peterson says number two, sell stuff that you have lying around the house. Guys, I think selling stuff that you have lying around the house is something all of us can do. Every single one of us. We all have junk lying around the house that needs to be sold. Cheyenne Hall says, would a lemonade stand be helpful? Absolutely. Sell lemonade if you got to sell lemonade. The point here, guys, is this, is that the summer is the perfect time to uh, make a little bit of extra cash, but also to get the experience of being more social, to be a little bit more creative in how you get that cash. There are different ways to do it, and hopefully these five tips can help you guys work towards that goal. Drew says, number two, uh, Sergio says, Josh, I have a coin collection I want to sell. Sell that coin collection, Sergio. Put it up for sale. Guys, thank you so much for being on this live stream. Thank you for dealing with all the dog howling and stuff. I got to go feed her, <laughs> but I hope these tips were helpful, guys. I know it was a lot putting a lot out there. I'm going to put the timestamps up after this video so you can go and jump around and see the specific things that I talk about. But I definitely think there's a way for you guys to make a little bit of extra money so you can do the things you want. You can accomplish the goals that you have throughout the summer. Sergio says, give me a shout out. Sergio, this is your shout out. Guys, I will see you over on Instagram. Make sure to follow me for the Instagram after party. And then, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace. Oh, hit the light. <laughs> see you guys then. Bye.